Well, having the right degenerate into identity politics does not seem to be a, po a positive solution. So one of the things I would say is that, like, I understand why the identity politics that has been practiced so assiduously and so devastatingly by the left has been co-opted by the right. I understand that. But then here's what I would say to the people on the right who are playing that game. If you play the game of your enemies and you win, you win their game. You don't win. That's not victory. You just become the most successful exponent of their pathology. Well, so how is that a good thing? It's a bad thing. So what does that leave people as, as an alternative? Well, I don't think that the Caucasians, let's say, should revert to being white. I think that's a bad idea. It's a dangerous idea. And it's coming fast. And I don't like to see that. I think the whole group identity thing is seriously pathological. I think we've made big mistakes in Canada. I understand why, at least to some degree in that respect. And that large mistakes are being made all over the Western world. Where we're making your group identity the most important thing about you. I think that's reprehensible. I think it's devastating. I think it's genocidal in its ultimate expression. I think it will bring down our civilization if we pursue it. We shouldn't be playing that game. So what's the alternative? You know, I've thought for a long time about a political career, really, forever, since I was like 12, really, for a long time. And I've always decided against it because it seemed to me that the proper level of analysis with regards to the solution of the problem that we're facing isn't political. And that's why I think it's a mistake when what I'm doing gets politicized, either by me or others. I think that the way that you deal with this is to put yourself together. I really believe that, is that because I think that individual people are far more powerful, they're certainly far more evil than they're willing to consider. But that's also a sign of their unbelievable power. So, I think that what you do is you aim high and put yourself together and stay the hell away from the ideologues because they're hiding they're hiding behind a wall they're not able to come out and fight on their own behalf and so the way forward through the ideological mess and that's the lesson of western culture is to place the individual at the place of paramount importance and to make the group identity emerge only when necessary and secondarily if ever and so, you can do that. You can do that now. You can do that tomorrow. Like, you can put your life together. And again, as, as I mentioned to the other young man who asked the question is, you won't hurt anyone doing that. Right? You pick up your goddamn responsibility. Sort yourself out. Fix up your family. Right? And then you can be a force for good in the culture. And if enough people do that, the ideological mess will just evaporate. It'll just disappear. I think that's the way you show people the right path forward, too. Is that you say, well, look, I'm... We would, we would like it so much if you could thrive as an individual. Drop your cult-like affiliation, right? Step out of the shadows, the demonic shadows, your ideological possession, and step forward as a fully developed person into the light. Do it by example. That's your, that's your best bet, man. So that's what it looks like to me.